I'm Sabine Bergman. And I'm Savani Babu. We're the co-founders of Hidden Compass, an award-winning company that's turning nerds like journalists, scientists, artists, and explorers into household names. We're leveraging the power of community and your participation helps us champion literary journalism that is both nuanced and sustainable. The antidote to clickbait. Meet the author behind this story and directly support their work with a contribution. The storyteller will receive 50% of crowdfunding proceeds on top of what we already pay. The other 50% support Hidden Compass and our mission. My name is Cecilia Hayden Lee. I'm a writer, artist, cookbook author, and a chef in Los Angeles. My family emigrated to the United States from South Korea just about 10 days before my seventh birthday. And I remember that I started as a food writer because I was reading the LA Times and I thought, how come no one has written about Korean food in the LA Times? Oh, I'll write about Korean food. So I ended up writing for them and that was over 20 years ago and I still write for them. And I started as a travel writer kind of in the same way. I was looking at a Fromers travel guide and I thought, no one has written about South Korea for Fromers? All right, I'll do it. So I ended up writing actually three editions of the South Korea Guide for them. And as a food and travel writer, I've always believed that finding out about somebody's culture, the best way to do it is through food and drink. And no matter where I go in the world, everybody always wants to share a drink with me. I remember when I was in Romania, somebody was like, I'm gonna go down to the cellar and get you some afanada. And I thought, what's afanada? And afanada is a homemade blueberry wine that they make in Romania from wild blueberries that they gather on the hillside. And even when I was in Korea in a very, very remote village, I was walking on this bridge and there were these people just sitting there having a drink in the middle of this bridge. And they said, sit down, have a drink. I said, okay, because I never refuse a drink. And they were passing around glasses of makgeolli, which is a home-brewed rice wine that they make. And um, I've also had you know, swigs out of a bottle of vodka that a Russian passed to me in the middle of a city, literally in the middle of a city, in the middle of the center divider in a busy street, and we've just sat around drinking vodka together. And each time, even though these people were strangers, I felt this instant connection with them, like we were friends. And I feel the same way about my dad when he's drinking as well. Normally he's a Korean John Wayne, very stoic, does not answer very much, does not talk much. But when he has a drink in his hand, He'll usually tell you stories and joke around and I'll be able to have conversations with him. And I've always wondered, what is it about alcohol that brings people together? Is it just because you're getting drunk? It's not just a chemical thing. I think there's something more going on. And I found a little bit of an answer when I took a trip. Um, I was in the middle of starting a restaurant in East Hollywood. It was a very crazy time because starting a restaurant is always crazy. And it was not a good time for me to take a trip, but I thought I'm gonna take a week off and go to the country of Georgia. And I've never been before. I knew nothing about the country, except that that was where winemaking had um, originated. And I thought, I wanna find out about this. And I didn't even know how to pronounce the capital's name, Tbilisi, which I don't even think I'm pronouncing it properly right now. But um, I took a flight from LA to Moscow and there was a 12 hour layover. And if I had missed a flight, it was going to be kind of bad because there were only two flights to Georgia every week from Moscow. But once I got there and I was touring around the Kaketu region, that's where most of the wine is made in Georgia, I found an instant connection with not just the land and the place, but also the people that I met there. And there's something about learning the history about winemaking that brought me close to people. But it wasn't just that. It was also the fact that we were all drinking together. And then I discovered that there's something about drinking that makes human beings connected. And then we all discover that we share a shared humanity. Thanks so much for watching. And please visit hiddencompass.net to support this storyteller. Together, we'll celebrate the people who researched the unknown, helicopter in, snowshoe out, dive deep, and invite us to discover. These are our new influencers. Explorers are in. Are you?